hey, welcome to take 10. You know, the, the Bible talks about the sons of Issachar. And I know that prophets use that a lot, and that's really not where I'm coming from. Where I'm coming from today is times and seasons. And if we get anything wrong, it's timing. We, we think something's going to happen, and God speaks in perfection, and we live it out in imperfection. Uh, we're praying, and we're believing, and we're in the midst of great uh, things in our heart, or maybe tough times, and we get this encouraging word. Perhaps somebody comes and gives you an encouraging word, or you hear a sermon, or, or if you're, like I encourage you to be, if you're journaling and writing, you actually feel that God has spoken to you about something in the future. And then you find out that that is so far away and that you have a lot of progress to make before you get there that it could cause you to lose your faith. You know, that there's also that part about other people that get in the way of your blessing. If God has promised you something, if the word of the Lord is true, he will get it to you. You know, at that time, we doubt ourselves, we doubt our walk, we doubt if we've lived close enough, clean enough, pure enough, straight enough, true enough. But grace takes all of that weapons out of the Satan's hands to where you can't really say that it's your fault that you messed up. If God said he was going to do it for you, he's going to do it for you. Now, he cannot and will not bind other people and make them do what he wants them to do. There has to be a willing flow. So sometimes people cause the train to get derailed. Sometimes people cause you not to reach the height at the point you felt you would that God has designed for you. So you always got to keep working around it. You know, I always had this statement, and I'd tell people, and there would be a little consternation They'd ask me, are you going to get this done, Say, whether by natural or by supernatural? So my planning has always been, I'm going to walk with the God-given grace and knowledge that I have. One of the greatest things that was ever told to me was told to me by an attorney friend who came in to look at some papers that I had and a current problem that I was having answering. I just couldn't get the answers from the bank that I, I needed to get. It's like we were on different uh, uh, planets, and, and what I'd explain to the banker, and I'd have my, one of my great board members, Doug Phillips, explain to the banker, it's just like they didn't, couldn't understand a word we were saying. And when my attorney friend came in, these were the words he said to me. He said, you're just not sophisticated in this line of thinking. Because you can do other things well and because things go well for you and you're always able to work, work things out, you think you can do anything, but you are not sophisticated in this line of thinking. It was an affront to me. And at first I thought, hmm, who is he? But I watched him pick up the phone. I watched him talk to the banker 10 minutes and cleaned a... 10-year problem up and, well, about three and a half year problem up and set a path forward that caused great blessing to come into my life. Let me just say to you, it is not a problem sometimes to work it out, whether by natural or by supernatural. You have to move forward. Some people get locked up in the fact that nothing's happening. Make something happening. Just don't get in God's way. Abraham got in God's way, and he formed a whole nation of people that we're still dealing with the consternation and fuss and fight that's going on, but we're getting ahead of God. But God does want you to do what you can while you are waiting on the miracle. And it's the greatest message that you could ever have in your life is to have the message of serendipity. While you're looking for one thing, you will find another. And many times, if you just pick up your head and look out and see which field is ready for harvest. So I always look at spring, summer, winter, and fall, and I think that I need 
three to four, maybe five sources of income or sources of ministry or places to go because I want one to be harvesting at all times. I want to not be caught in a box to where I'm looking from paycheck to paycheck or life to life or offering to offering or Sunday to Sunday or to look in the black hole of this appointment we call the post office and wish somebody would send me something so I could move ahead. If God told you that you could do it, if you feel the drive in your spirit to do what you've been called to do, to your, that your organization may go, what may look like is on dead center to you may be at the precipice of flying or the place where you jump into the water or the place where you go flying into the future just from that precipice when it looks like you can't do anything god can help you god can help you many ways but if you get it set in your head how god's going to help you and you don't know the times of seasons times or seasons you will be caught in a negativity that you don't want to be caught in. So here we are, like the sons of Issachar, learning times and seasons. And there are seasons in the earth. There's, there, there's all the different holidays. I just, I just think sometimes some people dreamed up the holidays uh, to sell flowers or to sell jewelry or to sell this or to sell that. And it was never any intention of enjoying those things that we enjoy, like a good birthday. Well, what would a birthday be without a cake? And what would a birthday be without a gift? And what would a birthday be without wrapping? And what would a birthday be without a bow? And what would a birthday be without, you know, without, without, without? So we have been told the pattern of blessing. But the pattern of blessing is not where you ought to be. You have to have an internal timing, an internal season to know I'm in a season and I see it going. I have to tell you that when I began this work of serving you uh, as a Metropolitan Archbishop over the ICCI and, and become the president of this operation, I had to change my way of thinking. For years, I had pastored a church. I mean, I knew exactly for almost 35 years what my Wednesday nights and what my Sunday mornings were going to be consisted of. And I knew that at any point the phone could ring and I could be off to a hospital, asked to do a wedding, face a funeral in three days, all kinds of, of things that are to be with the church. Crisis comes, all kinds of, of, of struggle, mentally, financially, uh, spiritually, and physically. You just can't imagine if you've never done it. So when I entered into this work, the crisis area was always around Christmas time. But in this work, crisis area financially is in the summer. So I began to make arrangements looking far, looking away to see how would I make things go 24-7, 12 months out of the year, winter, spring, summer, or fall, and there would be a continual harvest, a continual provision, a continual supply of the blessings of God. So we're going to do a few take tens. You don't want to miss one of the next few ones because I'm going to talk to you about a thing that I call if I could have seen the land. If I could have saw, I would have done So if, 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 if and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. But I know you're in a tight season right now, and I know that things are going forward uh, as planned, but there's other things that bother you. So that's the way of, uh, of the nip and tuck of running an organization or pastoring a church or doing those things which you feel God has led you to do. So it is my heart, the next few take tens, to bring you to a place to where you can lift up your eyes and look out and see the future and not be hit time and again by what was told to me, my lack of sophistication in a certain area. If you lack sophistication in a certain area, 
Go get somebody to help you. That's why you came to the ICCI, so we could help you with your 501. We could help you with your housing allowance, with your with your car, uh, uh, all the, the, the income tax problems that you might have, with state tax, with property tax, because we live in a world where we help you in that area. So you don't have to worry in this day and age. You, it's as close as the fingertips of your search engine to go find somebody that will help you see the land. Because you're on a vantage point right now. Whether you like it or not, you say, well, I'm down in the valley. I'm really low as I can be. No, that's a mountain. It may be dry and barren, but you're looking out. And what I want you to do is say, later, if I could have saw the land, I could have made progress. So I want to help you see the land. I want to help you go forward. Hey, till the next time, God bless you.